We begin with an update on the growing border tensions between Thailand and Cambodia. The Royal Thai Air Force says it is standing by to fly out Thai nationals living in Cambodia if the situation at their border deteriorates. Both sides have dispatched troops to counter each other's reinforcements at a disputed area around the Prawihan Temple. The ancient monument belongs to Cambodia, but the most accessible entrance lies in Thailand. More than 400 Thai troops and more than 800 Cambodian soldiers remain locked in a standoff for a fourth day, and most of the Cambodians living near the temple have fled the area in fear of a clash. The escalation has prompted Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Sen to warn that the border dispute is worsening and damaging relations between the neighbours. He wrote to his Thai counterpart calling for an immediate withdrawal of Thai troops from the disputed land. But Bangkok insists that they are stationed on the Thai side of the border. Despite the mounting tension, the situation at the temple has remained calm while diplomatic efforts gets underway. Military officers on site from both camps have also met on Thursday. This afternoon, Thai Prime Minister and Defence Minister Samak Sundaravet will meet top military officers to prepare for a border meeting on Monday. They will hold talks with their Cambodian counterparts then to try and defuse the tension at the Thai-Cambodian border. About 2,000 Thai nationals were stopped from rallying at the temple on Thursday, but some clashed with Thai villagers angry at the loss of cross-border trade before riot police intervened. In Bangkok, Prime Minister Samak described the protesters as insane and he accused them of trying to provoke a border confrontation.